and welcome to the monthly goddess reading for April 2022. I hope I feel like this is also going to be quite a timeless message. I think whenever you're watching this, this will make sense for you. So I'm kind of giddy because the person that has come through, the goddess that has come through today is White Calf Buffalo Woman and I've never really i've thought about her in the past certainly and her story is very interesting but i've never really connected with her in this way before so it's really nice and um, firstly what she was showing me is before i bring her through fully and trans channel her messages what i was seeing is um butterflies this message that i'm sure many of us are familiar with you know the process of going from caterpillar to cocoon to butterfly if you feel like you're in the cocoon stage i'm feeling like i'm there now so i know it wasn't just a personal message for me that it can be a very just remember that the the cocoon stage is just before the butterfly stage and when you're in the cocoon stage it can be so difficult to see what's on the other side of it and it can be very dark and lonesome and scary and hopeless and just kind of maybe a feeling of being a little bit lost and not knowing but also to know that when you tap into your intuition and your inner your, your higher self that you will have that like soul knowing of something great to come hence the butterfly and she's bringing us this hopeful message of the light coming after the dark. So if you're also in that cocoon stage, um, I see you <laughs> and she sees you and you can call on her for guidance during this time. It's really difficult and it's really shitty to be honest with you. And I actually am um, Quite a few days late even doing this reading because I didn't feel like I was in a place to bring a message I just wanted to be all cocoony so okay was there another message there or will we go through to the trans channel It's really just this message of hope, seeing hope through the darkness. And despite how difficult it is, you, you can do that. You really can do that. And hopefully this message re reaches you at exactly the right time where you can be encouraged with the knowledge that the butterfly comes after the dark, 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 scary cocoon. Okay. A little drink first here. Okay. So white buffalo calf woman is going to white calf buffalo woman even is going to bring her messages through me now through my spoken word. And this is called trans channeling, in case you don't know that. Okay. It feels good to be here with you at this most difficult time. This is a time of great darkness and sorrow, but knowing that the light will always come after the darkness. It is a time for solidarity, a time for reaching out to your neighbours, to the people around you, a time for finding hope and help in community, in friendships, in family, wherever you can find it. In the darkness, it can be the most difficult time to reach out and do this, but it is essential for your evolution, for your growth as this world is 
this world has many dark things and dark corners at this time and unfortunately may always have this but remembering that solace and comfort can be found in those around you know that those around you though know that those around you though they may not appear so can be going through very similar challenges and difficulties and may be waiting and wanting for you to reach out your hand and hold theirs there will be great strength in this reaching out visualize if you will an energetic hand extending from you to your neighbor to their neighbor to their neighbor and so on tra traveling all around this great planet see you all joined in this chain of love this chain of support chain of equality and humanity many acts of darkness are happening now but they are overshadowed by many many acts of kindness and goodness and generosity this is a pivotal time now look to your neighbor and ask how can i help they will look back to you how can i help you this is a chain reaction one person creating something nice in another's life and helping will encourage that person to create the same thing in their neighbors or friends or family's lives it is a time of coming together such a great and powerful powerful thing that may not even be looked on as so you may not think that this act of coming together and showing solidarity can be so powerful but it is incredibly powerful it is a time that will be remembered for its goodness not for its sadness and difficulty and darkness and challenges it will be remembered for the coming together of communities of people holding hands and even just energetically so holding hands and creating a support network community 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 that is what this time is about do not be afraid to reach out the help is there and do not think that you cannot help others when you are in your own place of darkness perhaps even you requiring help will meet a need in your neighbor to give help know whatever you are lacking can be brought in and given charitably from somebody else this world is about balance there is balance in every aspect of the world it will always even out so know the importance how essential it is to create this beautiful community around you know that there is always somebody to help you you will always find someone no matter how alone you feel go to a coffee shop speak to the person sitting next to you go to the park play with a dog you will always find somebody you are never truly and completely alone and know if you are feeling connected to my presence now that you can call on my spiritual aid at any time and I will be there for you white calf buffalo woman say these words and I will be there giving you strength giving you the energetic hand to pull you out of the darkness pull you out of the cocoon when you are ready and bringing you into the light, bringing you into the blossoming. But also remembering there is beauty in this cocoon, in this darkness. It may not feel this way right now, but this is where you will grow and you will learn. This is a necessary process before you can become the beautiful butterfly with all of the abundance and the happiness and the joy the wonderful balance of contentment inside you 
know that the darkness is necessary to move into the lightness. Do not fear it, you will not be completely overcome. As I've said, reach out, receive help. You will learn many lessons in this way. You will be stronger. You will know yourself more at a deeper level, knowing what you can overcome, knowing what you can achieve knowing that you can have the courage to reach out when it is the scariest thing that you can imagine. Remember to see the beauty in this darkness. <coughs> Excuse me. Remember that you are the beauty in this darkness because your eternal soul light never fades in the darkest darkest cave the light of your soul will always shine and holding on to and expressing and beaming this light will be what takes you out of the cave, out of the darkness, out of the cocoon, into your next phase of blossoming. <laughs> Thank you. That was lovely. Um, it really was a privilege to connect with her. Um, she would have um, history, I suppose, in the Native American um, community. So I think you should definitely, if you like her message, you should look her up, give her a Google. And as she was saying, like bring her into your, your spiritual practices when you meet her. I feel really uplifted. <laughs> um, I hope that that has helped you. Um, if you want to book any of my services, my um, private channeling experience, which will be something like this, only much longer and very personalized, you'll find that at my link in bio. There's also past life healing and I also teach how to channel which that program is called unlock your channeling gifts so you'll find all of that at the link in my bio on my instagram page um okay have a gorgeous april i hope you all survive this dark cave and i'll see you on the other side <laughs> okay big love <laughs>